So, just a quick follow-up on yesterday's video about the Archon Hunts, Boreal's damage attenuation and how capping your DPS or reducing it when you pump enough damage into the boss just draws the fight out making it a bit of a bullet sponge event with some invincibility phase and adds thrown in. Just to clarify, I don't think this fight is hard at all. It's not a raid boss, it's not challenging. If you bring the Fenmore to lay from the Tenant Strofa or Chroma's damage buff or Rhino's roar, then you can burn this boss down fast enough providing you don't hit the damage damage cap and the attenuation kicks in, so I guess TLDR, more effective health and attenuation doesn't equal more of a challenge or make a boss battle more fun. But I'm not going to dwell on that, I said enough of that in yesterday's video, DE Rebecca has responded with a post about the whole situation, so let me read that post to you. Archon Hunts will continue to rotate through on a weekly cadence, while Tenno face off against Boreal this week, both Naira and Amar's Hunts will follow in the next two weeks. However, they want to take a moment to discuss the way bosses are handled in Warframe. In truth, there is no one way that they approach these and that they can be confusing. It is worth stating that they currently do not have a perfect solution on single target bosses for a game with such a wide variety in player loadouts and experience, but they are intending to improve them based on collective experience as a community and as developers. This process is going to take many weeks and further iteration and testing. Between damage attenuation, certain exploits or bugs causing instant damage and more, they will be prioritizing the gameplay and feedback review to make this boss fight experience better. There is a chasm between people who find them too easy and those who find them impossible and trying to balance this divide will inform parts of our plans. We want to make the bosses we want to fight. We are all on the same page on the quest for the right balance. As an example, Rebecca uploaded this video as well of the Archon fight and what it looked like without any damage formula. If they increase their health so the glaives don't one shot the boss, they become near unkillable with any other weapons. It'll be a tough problem for DE to solve but for perspective this is what they don't want either they don't want i guess a boss to be completely unkillable outside of the any given weapon so as i said yesterday i don't envy de one little bit in trying to balance these boss fights when our power creep in warframe has hit such astronomical levels in game with loadouts arcanes helmet abilities the subsume and now with these new shards being added in as well our warframes and that are going to be even more powerful Right now they're stuck between having a boss battle where a certain weapon can one shot it and everything else can just chip away little by little at it or giving it attenuation so that nothing can one shot it but your damage falls down to next to nothing. But it is interesting to note that they also mentioned bugs causing instant damage which might be why some of you mentioned in the comment section yesterday how they were able to zerg Boreal in less than a minute with both phases. But I think the most important thing is the DE are listening, they're taking feedback on board and are going to prioritise these Archon Hunts to get them into a much more enjoyable place. Which is good because I think someone done the math and if you wanted to get a 5 gems for every one of your favourite Warframes without having to take them out and uh, chop them around which costs you resources when you remove them, then it's something like 250 is it 250 days? Or if you wanted to get like one of each for every five slots, it was something like 14 years. I can't remember what exactly it was, but it was absolutely bonkers. But the big take, attenuation and the boss fight as a whole are getting priority, which will be great for the next two boss fights coming up over the next two weeks as well. Let me know what you think of the post put up by Rebecca yesterday. Have a great day, and as always, thanks for watching.